you might want to create a group of HR managers who manage employees in the US. So the group managing will include HR managers in the US while the group being managed will include employees in the US. Groups are defined and maintained by navigating to the admin center and clicking on manage permission groups. Click on the create new button to create a new group. In the group name field, enter a group name, give a descriptive and meaningful name. Now here we will select the group members. Select the area of expertise that tie employees together like IT or accountants. To choose all IT, set category to job code and we will set the condition to IT. We will type in IT here and click the search button. All IT related titles will show up. We will select the IT manager group and click on save button to complete our setup. We can also use multiple characteristics chained together. If you want all IT developers in New Jersey office and the New York office, you can click on add another category. Click on update to get a total count of active group members. We got 13 people in this group. To see the list of people in this group, click on the number 13. These are the people that are in this group. Click on the close button. We are done creating the group. Now click on done. The group that we just created is called a dynamic group because the group characteristics bundle its members together. There is no intervention required from a security admin when an employee has to be added or removed from this group. There is another group called static group. The members of this group are manually assigned and unassigned. Static groups are created in the same manner but instead of specifying a universal characteristic such as job code or location we choose user or username in the drop down where we selected job code.